Good evening, good evening, good evening, my viewers and my subscribers. It is your boy Bonnie again. Come to have another little talk with you, my viewers. As I said, I am one who love to come and reason with you a lot. Yes, I love to reason with you. So, I always say, if it is the first time tuning into this channel, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. And as I always said, if it is the first time and you like the contents that I produce and you want to be a part of this wonderful family, hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. Share the video so others can see it and hit the notification bell and you don't miss any video that goes up. Seriously, you don't miss any. Every time you put a video up, you will get a cling. But if you don't want to do that, follow me on the channel, like and share, comment and subscribe. Also, I have another channel. It's called Drive Bunny UK. That only driving video. Go over there, check it out. Anywhere I go around the UK, I just put up a driving video. You can watch and see the UK. Anyway, cut that out now. What am I going to talk about tonight? I want to tell you, my viewers, that I am a Jamaican. Yes, you can see I am a Jamaican. Born Jamaican, living in the UK for over 30 years. Yes. But what am I going to talk to you tonight about? About me in Jamaica. I used to be driver in Jamaica, passenger vehicle. I drive taxi around town. I drive taxi in the country. I drive bus around town. I drive bus in the country. But I have some real experience in my growing up driving bus in Jamaica and even taxi some real experience and you know when I sit here and I look back in Jamaica it's not even just bus alone I am just looking back and watching the news and see everything that taking place in Jamaica and as a Jamaica my body crunch a time and it made me ask, it asked myself, Christian, I wonder if I was still in Jamaica driving, if I would be alive today. Because of what I see and what I've been through in my life. Because when I was driving taxi in Jamaica, I go through some really bad place where I carry people and pick up people from. But not even just that when i was driving bus i've been through some horrible i have some horrible experience i probably talk about this already where i was driving a bus from parade kingston to kingston to rockford where the conductor decided to put off of somebody and i stopped to let them off at bellevue and by the time i reached rockford the guy come back and approached me and gave me one punch in the side of my head you know, I talk about that before. But you know something, I put on this heart to God, you know. God 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 is a God is he, 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 he been watching over my life for a long time. God is watching over my life for a long time. I can testify that God is good to me. My view, as I said, I was driving a truck, draw a coconut from St. Elizabeth to Kingston. I come a Spanish town and the guy them wanted coconut. And because no wouldn't stop for getting the coconut, they fling a stone again. And I was high up in the Leland truck. The stone hit me here so. If the stone catch me here so, I'm a Ghana. But as I said, God is so good to me. My sisters and my brother, my viewers and my subscribers. My life is a testimony. My life is a testimony. God is good to me. God, listen. If one night me not serve God, something wrong. Because, listen. 
God have done so much things for me. I write a book. I write a book. I publish a 32-page booklet of my life story. On my computer, I have another one that I'm writing. I don't know when it's going to finish because I have to get help for, for, for writing. I can't find anybody to help me. But you know something? It, that book must be reached about, it reached about um, 100 and something page at the moment. But it's still carry on writing. Anyway, my viewers, what I'm saying, God been good to me. Because the amount of things I have been through in life. I was driving country bus. I was driving country bus. And road break away from downtown Kingston to Mavis Bank, St. Andrew. And half of the road tear off. And when you get there, going up, I have to stop, let off the passenger. Me alone drive over the Brockway. Coming back down, same thing. Me have to stop and for the whole day like that. If that piece of road broke away and me and the bus alone gone down there. You know, when you think about these things, when you do these things, you don't think about the danger. You think about your job and your pay. Same thing I was driving the bus from Portland, same way. When I come to the Brockway, same way, me have to stop. The load on the bus, me alone and the load drive across the Brockway. A bus called Eastern Warrior. I was driving from Portland to a place called Scatron. And when the road broke away, I'm telling you, I may have to gap up the peer the people them and me alone drive over. These are the risks that I take. But as I said, God is so good to me. He promised me that He will never leave me and He will never forsake me. Even to the end, He is with me. And I believe that everything that I've been through in life, God was there with me, delivering me from accident. Even when gunman wall up my minibus downtown Kingston, when downtown, if anybody remember when downtown parade, the whole of it is zinc round. The whole parade did zinc round. And when you come down Iron Street, you have to stop. When you come down King Street, you have to stop. You can't go nowhere because the whole parade was zinc run and turn back. Gunman, hold up my bus. Listen, listen. <laughs> God, my viewers and my subscriber, I'm telling you, I've been through some stuff in life. I've been through sickness. I've been through accident. I... Listen. My life, my complete life, my complete life is testimony. My complete life is to give God thanks. Everything in me is God's grace and mercy. Everything in me is God's grace and mercy. I make a pledge to God that I will serve him for the rest of my life, no matter what. Every time I think about the goodness of God and all that he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. You are wonderful, great, merciful, loving, and kind to me. Hey, if I can find anybody else, that me know it's not only me alone, God saved me, no. but I would love to hear somebody's testimony. I would love to hear somebody's testimony. How great God is to you. If you're watching this video and you can testify of God's goodness and God's grace and mercy, listen, my brother and sister, record, record your testimony. Send it to me. Take your phone. Record your testimony. Send it to me and I will Post it on my channel. If God been good to you, and you know that God been good to you, and you can testify of God's goodness and God's mercy, take your phone, record your testimony, send it to me by WhatsApp. There's a WhatsApp telephone number. 
and I need the video them. WhatsApp me your testimony and I will post it on my channel for you. Let other people know what you've been through. Never hide your testimony. That is your test that you've been through. And your test is here to help somebody who's going through something right now. So I am telling you, never sit down on your testimony. Because when you sit down on your testimony, you is killing somebody, you is stifling somebody. Because somebody want to break out. And just your testimony is what going to save somebody's life. Just your testimony is going to release somebody out of pain. Because when they think that they're going to go through something, they're not going to go through nothing. But when they hear your testimony, and they think, wow, did that guy really go through that? Did that lady really go through that? Yes, you go through it. But if you just sit down on it like this, nobody now going to know about it. And your testimony is in you. Somebody want to hear it. So I'm telling you right now, pick up your phone. Talk into your phone. Tell the world what God has done for you. Send it to me by WhatsApp and I will post it for you. Yes, I will post it for you. Because I want the world to know how great God is. My intention is to help people in whatever way I can help people. And if this is one of the ways that God allow me to start up a YouTube channel to share his word, I am willing to do so at any means and any cost. And as I said, my church is Lucy Pentecostal Church in Luton, UK. And my name is Evangelist Elijah Bentley. My desire is to reach out to every person who the sound of my voice can go to through social media to tell them or to tell you who is watching right now how great and wonderful God is to me. So right now in the name of Jesus, as you sit here and listen to the sound of my voice, I want to pray God's blessing on your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I sit before your presence right now. I come to share what you have done for me with your children. Father God, if there is one out there right now that not yet accept you as dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I pray under the sound of my voice, you watch it and listen will get to know Jesus for yourself. I pray right now, in the name of Jesus, that as the, my voice goes out to you, I pray your heart will open to receive God as your personal Savior. I pray the Spirit of God will touch your life. The Spirit of God will change your life. And you will feel the same urge as me to share your testimony Every one of us on the face of this earth have a testimony. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus that the Spirit of God will pump you to share your testimony that others will see it and hear it. Father God, touch your children right now. Whatever situation they're in, God, whatever they're going through right now, financial situation, homeless situation, God, I pray right now that you, Christ Jesus, will open a financial door. God, for those who are sleeping on the pavement right now, have no home. God, I pray that you will provide a shelter for them. Lord, for those who are living with somebody and trying to find a place, I pray, God, that you will open the doors for them. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now that your power, that you invest in me, that allow me to sit here. And to come before your presence. I pray God. That not one word. That come out of my mouth. Will go in vain. But God. I pray in the name of Jesus. That you Christ Jesus will hear. And answer my prayer. Father take over right now. Touch the heart of your children. Allow them. 
to hear your voice. Allow them to change. Allow them to move from darkness into the marvelous light. God, to you I give glory. To you I give honor. To you I give praise. And to you I say thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you're about to do in my life, around my life, and the people that you created on this earth. Father, have your sweet divine way. In the name of Jesus, I pray. My sisters and brother, if you listen to my voice, which is not me who speak it because God speaks through me. He is the one who gave me the authority to sit here tonight and to speak the word that you can hear. I could have died and gone several times, but God keep me for a time like this. He allowed me to create this YouTube channel that I can reach out to you who are listening to the sound of my voice right now. To God be the glory. Great things you have done. He done it for me and he will do the same thing for you. All you need to do is to just accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Walk with God by faith and not by sight. God bless you. God keep you. Continue to follow my channel and to tell someone to go and check out Bunny 7 UK. God bless you. I will catch you on the next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to the channel. Tell someone about it. God bless you. I'm out. Peace and love. Catch you in the next video. God bless.